Welcome to the channel update for September. My name is Nilas and this is my monthly update where I come back to you and just talk a bit about what's going on on the channel, what I'm planning to do, what I have been doing, what I'd like some feedback on and just to catch you up on what's going on around here. The structure is usually that I talk a bit about the content creation in general, then I talk a bit about the specific games that I'm playing right now, and then I talk a bit about what's upcoming in the next three to six months until you get an idea about what's coming, and also for you to to mention games or pro concepts or projects that I might have missed or forgotten in my update. For the past number of months, I've been uh, just basically trying different games out on here on my YouTube channel, basically giving them a shot, trying them out, making it a little let's play or let's try. And I really like that. I know that it's never going to be as popular as my main main videos, but I think it is really good for me. I find it interesting to play new games. I think it's relevant for you. Maybe you only watch the first one and go like, nah, this is not for me. But there will be some who find it interesting. What I've been doing that is I've been doing with Ghost of Tsushima, which didn't really have a, a lot of interest, unfortunately, because it's an absolutely amazing game and I'm not half bad at it. So too bad, but it was, uh, it was really enjoyable to play. And uh, I know that the people who watched it really enjoyed it. So that's that's very nice. Also, I've just uh, completed Dice Legacy, another quirky little game that uh, was just fun to play, but not something you throw hundreds or thousands of hours into, and that's also perfectly fine for these kind of games. The big new thing since last time is actually that I am falling in love with the new game genre, and it somehow fits really well to the way I like streaming, and not necessarily for YouTube, but particularly for, for streaming. So there was this game called Icarus, and it is a survival PvP, PvE game, and so basically a tree chopping simula simulator. It has these uh, weekends, every other weekend, it's you're, you can play it and it adds a few more con a bit more content it comes out in November and you basically it's basically satisfactory without the factory so you land on a planet and you have to chop trees and build a little house and go explore and just don't get eaten by bears it's it's a really really nice game and I really enjoyed playing it and also I feel that the community uh, really liked me playing it so that really got me started on sort of like hey hold on this this game type is really fun and just like just this week there's a new version or new update to Valheim so that seems like a great opportunity to go for another game that I kind of missed when it was brand new and because at that point I did not have an interest in that kind of genre and now I tried it with Icarus and then I'm going to be playing Valheim so it's starting tonight if you watch it, this video right as it comes out I'm going to be streaming it tonight and basically gauging interest if I like it it's going to take up uh, my Monday Wednesday Friday streams for for as long as I like it over on Twitch. So I, I'm really excited to get into this kind of game. And every other weekend, I'll be playing this Icarus game as it uh, gets closer and closer to release. And then once it releases, that might be something we add to the schedule as well. And you can expect to see, maybe not right now, but soon-ish, like tutorials cropping up here on my YouTube channel for either of these games, uh, if I feel that there's something that I figured out that I don't really think is is a lot of, it's available a lot of other places so that's um that's something you can expect and i re highly recommend you to jump on over to my twitch channel it's twitch tv slash nilos and it's basically other kind of games i play there sometimes it's the same but some of the games like we talked about dice legacy or ghost of tsushima they really need to sort of you follow all of it but these kind of survival games if you miss a stream or two or three or four it's still fine because you know what's going on and maybe the house is a bit bigger and we're in different biomes but the idea is the same but I hope you want to uh, join in as I start on this new game today, uh, Valheim, and then also next time for uh, next, not this weekend, next weekend, the 25th, 26th, will be lots and lots of streaming for the new Icarus game. Actually, so much streaming that I am planning to do a subathon that's basically like marathon streams Saturday and Sunday for that game. So uh, come on over and help make the stream longer if you want to of course i think that's uh, that's a really cool concept it also goes hand in hand with this uh, there's a promotion running on twitch right now so that subscription on twitch is 20 percent discounted if you haven't subscribed before or if you just gift subs so that's uh really just combining things with a game that can only be played in the weekend so i want to play a lot of it and then taking advantage of the the promotion that is on running on twitch this month Let's talk a bit about ongoing games, the games that I'm currently playing. Now, uh, Dyson Sphere Program has been a big thing for me in 
the last couple of months, I think, put about 200 hours into that campaign, but it is coming to an end right now. I have just streamed the last episode on Twitch and I have uh, content for one or two more sort of masterclasses here on YouTube. I think that basically at this point, it completes the game from my perspective. I've done masterclasses for everything. I built a pretty big base. I might do like a base tour of that. But at this point, I don't really think there's much more for me to do until more content is added and recoloring the robot doesn't really count as enough to restart the game. So this is one of the things that I do, like games like Satisfactory. I play it, I put it on the shelf. When there's new content, I might come back half a year later and give it another go. So that's uh, the wrap up of a Dyson Sphere program here on the channel for the time being. There'll be a few more, but that just opens up the opportunity for other games to come in. No channel update would be complete without talking a bit about Factorio. Kind of obvious, that's the how I got most of you to uh, lure you into my little corner of YouTube. So of course, we're going to be talking a bit about what's going on with Factorio. First though, I just want to mention my Patreon. That is really the cornerstone and the foundation of this entire channel, both uh, in, in regards to the YouTube presence and the Twitch presence. Underneath it is the Patreon. Patreon is a opportunity for you, if you want to, to support me on a monthly basis. And it really is what makes it predictable for me to be a content creator by knowing that there is a foundation of people who on a monthly basis want to support the work I do here. And then I have to <laughs> continuously on a monthly basis, make it worth it for you to continue your support. And I'll do that by playing the same games that you so love and also playing new games. And of course, there is no obligation. I give all my videos away for free and all the blueprints are available. So do, um, do not feel any pressure. Just be part of the community, but I know that some some, uh, some people want to support and then there is that option. So thank you very much to all the people who are supporting me on Patreon. It really means the world to me and it allows me to continue to do this also without doing ad integrations and sponsored uh, streams for uh, sponsored stuff for things I don't want to do. So thank you patrons and uh, let's get back to Factorio. So for Factorio, I am continually making my, my masterclass, my, sorry, my mega base in a book. And it is really nice. I do this now two times a week because you wanted it. And it takes a while to prepare these episodes, but I think it's the right thing to do. Two episodes a week makes sense. And maybe I'll do an occasional masterclass if, if a topic comes up. But honestly, I've kind of run out of ideas for masterclasses and that kind of thing without going like really extreme weird things like mod packs and stuff, which I don't want to do. So the, mass, the mega base in the book, I expect it to continue for a long time. There's tons and tons of stuff for, for me to do. And there's tons of stuff for us to cover, both in terms of just building new designs, but also sort of integrating them and uh, working through bottlenecks at that kind of thing. There's tons of things that can continue. So I expect this to run for quite a while and I have no plans uh, for anything beyond that. On Twitch, I started a new Factorio series. Well, new and new, it's a couple of weeks weeks ago and my objective with that series was forcing myself to design different things so I didn't just use my masterclass blueprints I didn't do my city blocks and it has been an absolute spaghetti mess and uh, I think I love it I love playing it like this it, it, it I've designed it in a way that prevents me from actually making things that make sense and forces me to think in a different pattern. So that's dragging belts across and over and under. And it's 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 a complete mess and you wouldn't recognize it as one of my bases. So if you want to see uh, some awful spaghetti mess uh, <laughs> produced by yours truly, then uh, come on over to Twitch. I'm streaming it uh, usually Tuesday, Thursdays and Sundays at 8 p.m. Central European time on Twitch TV slash Nilaus. And all the other days I stream something else pretty much. Let's round it up by talking a bit about the upcoming games that I have on my horizon and things are starting to materialize for the rest of 2021. Right, so what we have is, first of all, we have, uh, as of yesterday, the new Valheim update that is, that's out now and that's going to be, I'm jumping in, that's the first thing I'm going to jump into. The next thing I have on my agenda and we're talking about sort of as the non-Factorio content because Factorio is going to continue for a while, uh, that continue series. So. That'll be Valheim over on Twitch. Then I will be on 14th of October, we will have a Rift Breaker coming out. It's a game that I really enjoyed, but I don't think there's a lot of content in it in terms of that. I think there's a playthrough of the campaign. Either do that on Twitch or here on YouTube. You let me know what makes the most sense and what you like to see. 
And uh, then I don't think, I think, I honestly don't think it's a game that you can throw hundreds of hours in, but hey, I might be proven wrong. We'll, uh, we'll see. Um, and then after that, what the game that I've been looking most forward to this year is Darkest Dungeon 2. So maybe you don't know what Darkest Dungeon is. It is a turn-based roguelike and it is extremely punishing. And I absolutely love the first one. And I've been looking forward to the second one for the last five years or so since the first one came out. And finally, it's going to come. So that will be a big thing on my Twitch channel because it is a game that is rather slow paced. So it belongs more on Twitch than it does on YouTube. I don't think I can generate the content here on YouTube that makes it interesting. I'll probably make some guides if I can get around to that and figure out a good way to do like boss guides, that kind of thing. I think that would be really cool to do, but, uh, but not really. Like Let's Play, I don't think that fits here on the YouTube. That works much better on on Twitch. Also, because it's a roguelike, then it's it's more of a repeated pattern. So if you skip a stream or two, then you can still keep up. So that's uh, definitely my plan in terms of, uh, of covering Darkest Dungeon. And it'll be the massive thing from the 26th of October. Now, somewhere in the... In Q4, I think, I have no indication of it, there might be Satisfactory Update 5 and... I think I might go jump back into that one and yeah, it also depends on sort of, I'd like to sort of hear some feedback and go like, yay, more satisfactory or eh, whatever. That depends and uh, it also depends on how many new things are being introduced. There's something about vehicles that sounds really cool because then we can start using the vehicles because it's a really cool concept to use vehicles in satisfactory, but they just don't work currently. So it's kind of a shame that it doesn't work. But if they start working, then that might be cool to design a base around vehicle transport and drone transport. And yeah, you can see it's already like good concepts coming up. Uh, and then later on, we have on the 20th of November, we have Icarus, the game I mentioned, the PvE survival game that's coming out. And I think that's also going to be like something I will be playing quite a lot. Depends, of course, on the interest and all that stuff. Again, mainly playing it continuously on Twitch, but it's... I will expect to also make like tutorials and that kind of thing here on YouTube. And that's kind of what I want to do more of. Small games, I'll do Let's Plays here on YouTube, but bigger games, I'll be streaming them on Twitch because I can put more hours into there. Uh, taking 12 hours a week on a game and then putting it on YouTube just doesn't make sense. But congesting it and making like little snippets of guides and tutorials and highlights, that kind of thing is super cool to do that. So that's kind of the, the intention of moving forward. Games that take a long time, go on Twitch. Things that are sort of more compact, either because of, of tutorializing or because of just the scope of the project is going here on YouTube. And I hope that there will be a good synergy and that you can jump on over between one and the other. Also, I do know that a lot of people go like, oh, I hate Twitch. Yeah, I understand. But try to come into my stream. It's not very Twitch-like. It's, it's quite civilized and we are having a great time there. And it's, um, it's just a lot of people who don't like Twitch actually really like hanging out in my Twitch channel because it's not really the same spam and awfulness that a lot of Twitch chat is. Thank you for that. So thank you to all the people who are making it such a cool place to hang out while we play random games. And that's going to be it. Thank you very much, everyone, for following on Twitch and subscribing here on YouTube, subscribing on, on Twitch and pledging on Patreon. It's amazing, and I really enjoy making content for you, and I really am happy that you are enjoying it. So thank you very much, everyone. I will be seeing you either here on YouTube or on Twitch or, of course, maybe on Discord. Until next time, take care and stay effective.